Hey guys, Herf here. Welcome to uh, day two of our attempt to survive here in subsistence. Uh, we are playing easy. Let's see if we can do a check. It says day zero, but we are day one. Maybe it's not quite ticked. I mean, this is this is morning two, so we are on day two technically. Um, sun is just peeking up over. So it was a little cold. Um, I did a tiny bit of diving. I got a couple of pieces of kelp and I ate that. So we're we're looking okay on our on our carbs. Uh, we're going to need some protein before too long. Uh, I've also gone ahead and crafted us with the the bottle of oil and a couple of things we had um, a fire starter because I know uh, I'm gonna I'm not going to make it back. We need to go out uh, and find cordage and nails. So we got to do a lot of exploring today. Um, so there's a pretty good chance our campfire will, uh, will snuff out before we get back. So this way we can start it up again. Uh, all right, I'm going to head out, see what the temperature looks like. I walked out here and hit these trees overnight and it was three degrees. Uh, oh, it's already not bad. 10 degrees. Oh, there's a chicken right there. Let's try to grab him without. Got him. Uh, so we didn't waste an arrow, we wasted nothing, so that's, that's good. Maybe we should, you know what, maybe we should just cook him and cook him, need him real quick. <laughs> All right, people turn away. <laughs> I don't know how he makes that noise after you snap his neck, but he does. Uh. So, all right, we're going to cook this up. Like I said, today is all uh, about cordage. Uh, and I'm just trying to look around to see. I don't see any boxes, easy access on the beach anywhere. So we're going to have to hunt. Uh, probably going to head up inland right here, uh, kind of to the right of Grub Tree. See if we can find anything. Uh, we do have a couple of apples, which is good. We have uh, some blueberries also good and uh, something my buddy Tato discovered you can actually with three uh, medicinal herbs you can you can bait a trap with three medicinal herbs we don't have traps yet I don't want to waste the cordage on traps just yet the goal today is uh, hopefully like I said to get cordage uh, some more wood we need to make some planks okay let's go ahead and just eat this so would like to make a foundation a wall and a BCU today as well as hopefully a fishing rod um, so that we can get some protein that way as well so all right let's start our day is that a box that looks like a box right over there all right there's medicinal herbs And we picked up another oil. Okay, oil and electronics. Is that an ore right there? I'm not. I'm not worried about ore at the moment. Uh, I am concerned about getting these things. Cordage. All right. I think that gives us nine. Oh, I had to use a couple for um, crap. I had to use a couple to make the fire starter. So we need six cordage uh, for the fishing rod. That looks like a medicinal herb. Let's see. Oh, here's plant fiber. Plant fiber, plant fiber. Okay, let's stop being a doofus and uh, run around. Okay, I'm going to stop and grab uh, a bunch of wood, so I'll go ahead... And, uh, you know, I'll cut some of this gathering of stuff out, especially maybe like grub trees or something, because that's going to be boring. I definitely want to hit up the birch forest and, and just get, you know, 150 wood or so, so that we have a good stockpile. Right, I don't see any threats immediately. That's a chest. That looks like a wooden crate right there. Grubs. 
Right. Sure that oh crap, there is a wolf right there. Okay. Is that a wolf? The answer is yes. Okay. He growled at us once, no big deal. Cordage, okay, that gives us 10, um, I think, or is that 11? That's 11. All right, so one more, and that'll give us six cordage that we can craft, and that's a good start. Um, I'm even going to, I even going to prioritize the fishing rod over, at this point, over the foundations. Uh, I'm just, I'm not seeing any, I've probably run by a couple already. Sometimes I don't notice them until I run right past them. Alright, so we're going to craft six of those. So to make a fishing rod, we need six of those. We need uh, six sticks. When you craft a stick, you get two at a time, so I'll just craft like six. Um, and we have the uh, we have the scrap metal, so we can... What's that right there? That is the rabbit I'm shooting it. It is. Crap! I missed it. Alright, gotta keep an eye on where he goes. He went down towards that big rock. Okay, let's see if we can find the arrow. Although it sounded like it made a crunching sound. I feel like when it makes that crunching sound instead of more like a foop then it's probably gone. But that's okay, we got a bunch of arrows. And these little creatures, they, they tend to make their way back. I think I already see him again. Yeah, that's him right there. All right, I'm gonna aim a little above his head. Got him. Let him do the work that time. And look at this, we're rewarded with cordage. Alright, so we are still crafting. Uh, what do we need for this? Yeah, we're going to need to craft another cordage. Okay, so we can at least make one uh, kind of fishing tackle now, which is beautiful. Cordage, cordage, cordage. Okay, I want to head up kind of into this birch forest and uh, we'll hunt for supplies as well as um, gather some wood. These trees are all, uh, will all yield for all of these uh, kind of birch trees. So one thing I did too, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in episode one, but I have remapped, uh, let me pause for a second. So if you go into controls and then actions, these to me are reversed. Um, they're, they're correct now. Um, I don't know. I feel like when I pull down on the on the scroll wheel, it should go across the screen, right to the right, and the left. I don't know. It felt backwards to me when I started. So uh, I have gone ahead and remapped those to the different mouse buttons so that uh, I can get to the things I want. See, if I want to go backwards, I go up. I don't know if I'm just backwards or if these are backwards to sort of start with. What is that? That's scrap metal. I don't see anybody. So we're doing tremendous on cordage so far. Right, how much cordage do we need for a foundation? We need uh, two per foundation. And, uh, oh, that's because I have not crafted. All right, let's go. We can craft this. And then we should be able to craft the bait. All right, so we can go fishing one time. That might just mean we catch a little sardine fish. Uh, but craft, craft. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit a bunch of trees, and uh, I will I will bring you back if I run into anything or find a crate. Short of that, we'll bring you back when I'm done. Freaking 
chicken. Oh, there's a box. Got him. Where'd that box go? There it is. Ooh, there's a few nails. Okay. Does that give us enough? Nope. So we're still going to need... Uh, we don't have enough uh, scrap metal to make a BCU. We don't have enough nails to make a foundation. So uh, planks I can craft. That's why I'm hitting all these trees. Uh, so I'm going to continue hitting trees and I'll bring you back. There's another grub. So we're up to five grubs now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just butcher this so we don't lose the cloth. And uh, I'm going to kill and butcher the chicken. So we're going to head back to uh, the base. I'm going to avoid this bear and uh, the moose. Um, the moose will run away from us. Probably run away from the bear, too. Um... I think it's September. Is it September or October? I can't remember. There is a a month where the moose uh, go into rutting season and they become super dangerous. But also, they're not crazy common. So we don't see a million moose. But if you're out hunting and looking around, um, you're going to have to go swimming, brother. There you go. Perf's chasing you. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, they won't attack you. They will attack you if you shoot them. So uh, I would suggest uh, being well armed before you take on a moose. Uh, they'll take a little bit of damage and run away, and then when they get a certain amount of damage, they will come after you. All right, let's see if the campfire... I'm going to skip these trees for the moment. Uh, looks like our campfire is probably out. I can't really tell, but it looks out. Grab this kelp for a tiny bit of tiny bit of carbs. I don't see any more right there. I almost don't want to start the campfire because it's just gonna keep going out on me. Yeah, it's a... We did pick up another bottle of oil though earlier in one of the drops, so. If we have to, we can start it up again. Alright, let's throw Ignite. Cook our two guys here for protein. I'm going to eat this kelp. I'm going to go ahead and eat a couple of blueberries. Maybe I'll eat three. And I don't see anything easy right here. Oh, there's some metal. Scrap metal. That'll help us towards the BCU. Let's see what we need for that real quick. Oh, we just picked up. That was a, a sixth piece. So we can craft. You know what? We should craft uh, while we're sitting here. Let's just craft like ten planks. I'm not sure how many we need. But we'll get that crafting. Uh, we definitely want to save this ash as well. The ash comes in handy um, when you start your uh, crop lot planter box, whatever they call it in this game. Uh, you can only craft it inside the BCU, so I can't look at it just yet. Um, Alright, that's beautiful. Let's restoke the fire. So I'm going to take a look uh, over on this peninsula over here. We, I call this area Three Trees. Um, so we're going to go take a look around Three Trees quick. Then we'll come back here and stoke the fire, and then maybe we'll, we'll head back upstream again. But it's all about cordage and finding boxes. Ooh, that one's way too close to the bear. No, thank you. <laughs> I want it. I want it. Earth wants it, but can't. I'm reasonably consistent at running through and picking up the cordage on the fly, 
but that'll get us real close to Mr. Bear. There's another moose right there. Look at that. So I'm going to head up. Uh, that's a blueberry to you and me right there. I almost ran past that one. A chicken. Uh, should we get that chicken? He's just gonna run us right to the bear. See if I can cut him off. All right, he's gonna go this way, so we might be able to catch him. Damn it! Ah, crap. Damn it, I'm spazzing. There's one way to get a chicken. <laughs> and that's the second one. All right. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Here's a box. I like these wooden crates, too. You get a good chance of getting nails. Oh, and we got a bunch of nails. All right, so that's going to get us... Uh, that'll be enough to make a foundation. Let's go ahead and craft that. What do we need for a wall? We need two more cordage. We can craft that. Craft, craft. And then for the BCU, actually for the wall, yeah, we have planks. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead. Oh, man, I need one more nail. Are you serious? Crap. Okay, we can't craft anything. Yeah, no, we can't. Okay, more boxes. Oh, I crafted the foundation. Boy, I'm a stupid... A stupid dope. I didn't see it. It populated down into my uh, my hot bar. That's why I don't have enough nails for a foundation, because I already made one. Alright, another arrow, some gunpowder. Always a good thing. Um, so we can craft a wall. And we can craft a BCU. Alright. I'm going to take a quick hunt for boxes up here, and then we're going to run back and uh, probably have to restart the campfire again. Let's see, I want to get this grub tree, I want to get this grub tree. So can I just say for like one second, the amount of, oh, here's a box, the amount of um, locked crates that we found yesterday, I found three. Uh, you know, on, on day one, um, I, I've been playing, um, you may have seen it earlier when I was clicking around in the, in the menu screens. Oh, crap, tacular. Okay, see it. You can have that. I'm leaving. Um, ah, here's another one. Bear's following us. So, did that just despawn? That despawned, like, right there. <laughs> we were standing right on it. Um, so that's the fourth one I've seen now in two days in this game. And I, I've, I've gone days and days in other, you know, single-player uh, efforts here without, without ever seeing one. So, um, I just think that was, that's crazy. Now, once we craft and place the BCU, uh, we'll get a free key. So I will carry that key around with us. Uh, I'm sure that fire is out already. What time is it? It's kind of like like three in the afternoon. I'm going to take a quick look for for kelp. Kelp is a quick source of carbs. Oh, let's grab this guy. Takes four hits to open it. We'll grab a pearl. The pearls come in handy later on for making uh, circuit boards but we need a workbench for that and that's that's 
That's so far away from right now. Um, not really seeing any kelp. Is there any kelp behind us? <laughs> Ooh, the fire is still going. Just trying to make it. Sandstone. So sandstone, I've never done it, but you can, you can, I mean, I've gotten sandstone, but you can, uh, you can put it in the refinery and you can, uh, break it down in the refinery into like glass fragments and, uh, from the glass fragments, you can... Uh, use it as a component to make like glass doors and walls and crap like that. Um, Alright, so our chicken is cooking. When this is done, I'm going to go ahead and eat this for carbo boost a tiny bit. Uh, when this is done, I'm going to place the foundation, the wall, the BCU, and then we are, uh, we'll move the, the campfire up onto the uh, foundation, and then I'm going to dive for some kelp and that's probably about all we're going to be able to do before it gets dark. Um, I should be able to grab these two trees before that chicken burns. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's gobble that down. You know what, I'm going to drink, uh, I'm going to take this water and drink it. And we will refill it. Alright, so I'm going to hit number 8. Foundation is in our... Uh, I don't really know where to place this thing. I'm just going to do... Maybe we can raise it up like a tiny bit like that. And we'll place that. So I think if I hold E on this... I mean, uh, I'm sorry, and yeah, sit on the bottom right... You can either dismantle or um, you can move. If you hold end, you can dismantle with delete. All right, it's magic. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the BCU on this side. I always, I always tend to put the wall here and the BCU against it. But then if you want to build back towards those trees, the BCU is just going to be floating in a weird way, so... Um, go ahead and select number six. So we just mount the BCU on the wall here. And uh, base online. So now if we die, we'll get this, uh, this beacon, kind of the bullseye beacon or whatever you want to call it there. After a couple of minutes, we'll get this beacon so we can see which way to go. For home, we'll be able to see it, you know, from wherever we are. Uh, on the map too. So I'm going to stoke this fire. And uh, what do you guys say we try out our new uh, fishing rod? Can we make more tackle? We can. We can make one more. Uh, we could probably make a couple more, but you know this should be plenty for tonight. So I'm going to throw out and come down here. The only thing with fishing is you need to be able to, you have to be close to the water to be able to retrieve either the fish. So I'm going to hold right click to bring the thing back and then left click to cast. Uh, and it's really about listening, so I'm going to be quiet until we get a bite. Here we go. Oh, I didn't, uh, crap, okay, I didn't pull it in time. We have one more. Let's try it again. So you can see when they when, when you hear the plop sound, they, the the bait is taken, and you have like a second to uh, to react to it. So 
uh, instead of trying to announce it uh, to YouTube, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Bait lost? Why is bait lost? What happened? I didn't do anything. Crap. All right, fishing was a failure. Uh, we can craft another one. Let's go ahead and craft another one. We just need to craft cordage first. I hate wasting resources like this, but... Um, what are you going to do? we got to eat. I'm trying to save these apples. Uh, I've never had a stockpile of apples. I want to. I want a stockpile of apples. Something else we could do is uh, bait a trap around here as well. So let's craft this, and we'll try one more time to go fishing before we give up. Uh, we could eat this protein bar uh, if all else fails. There we go. Okay, we are crafted. Earth goes fishing. Take three. All right, we got one. So when he takes the bait, you have to hold uh, left click to sort of, uh, you know, strike and set the hook. And then... Uh, once you get that little thing that says fish is hooked, then you hold right click to reel them in. And we'll see what it is. It's probably going to be a tiny little stupid fish. Well, no, I think it's a big one. Oh, we got a pike. This is great. This is fantastic. So there's a couple of bigger fish. There's this pike. There's a, like a salmon. And I've seen even a largemouth bass, which is huge. So if you uh, right click on these guys... You can eat it raw, but I, I don't think I would do that because you're probably going to get an infection. So we'll fillet it up. Um, and this fish oil becomes important later on uh, for these medicinal brews. So you can combine these two, uh, this and the medicinal brew, to make this guy, the, the medicinal tonic. And then you need a number of medicinal tonics and kelp and a liver uh, to make an antidote if you get infected. So I'm going to go ahead and cook both of these bad boys. I'm going to refill our water, which oh, I didn't mean to fall in. Whoops. Uh, we're going to refill our bottle of water. Oh, Herf! What are you doing? Good thing I can see that. Okay, I wasn't close enough to the water. All right, we'll just fill it underwater and do it that way, since that seems to be where I need to be. Um, so we'll boil up our water. So we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Um, no, I don't need to eat those. I'll eat all three of those in a moment uh, when these steaks cook. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, we'll watch these steaks cook. They go for th three phases, right? There's... Uh, there's the raw, then it's, it'll say medium, and then like this, uh, you start to get that green text, which means it's cooked. Um, so this gives us 23 protein and a little bit of fruits and veggies too. So we'll go ahead and eat one, and then we'll save one, and I'll eat, uh, I'll eat a blueberry. And we're looking pretty good, man. We are scratching out uh, survival here on... Uh, on subsistence uh, for day two and uh, we have magically lived uh, the entire time so we're doing all right uh, it's slow going and like I said you scratch out an existence here but um, it really is a beautiful game it's fun it's very different from uh, some of the games that I've been playing but uh, man it, it is addicting so anyway guys uh, thank you so much for watching if you find yourself enjoying what we do if you'd like to see more subsistence uh, throw us a like a comment consider subscribing and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.